What's up guys, Kevin Zellman here with your voice recap right here on the Hollywood Junket. And we're going to have this episode, this is going to be Team Gwen's episode. Um, make sure you guys have been watching all the other episodes because I did Team Adam, Team Blake, and Team Pharrell. And this is all for week two of the live playoffs. So we're going to start it off with the first member of Team Gwen to go was Brayden Sunshine. And he sang Renegade by Styx. Um, I thought it was kind of an awkward song choice for him at first, but he he pulled through. He was good. Um, I'm still waiting to see him really break out of his shell, and that's one thing that he was saying in the package before he was performing that Gwen was really helping him do was um, really get out of his comfort zone a little bit, not being so much in his head, and be comfortable with his body and his dance moves and everything, because if you're not comfortable, then it's to make the audience uncomfortable. And were we uncomfortable this week? Absolutely not. But I think we could be a little more comfortable than we were. So I'm excited to see what he does next week. Um, and then Corinne Bukowski, she sang Titanium by Sia. I thought that this could not have been more of a perfect song choice for her. Um, she has such a, a delicate voice. Delicate is like the perfect word. Yeah, she has such like a delicate voice that to sing a Sia song, let alone this song, because you're able to do so much with it, it's perfect to show off her voice. She hit great notes. She performed it really well. The one thing that I want to see her do is I want to see her walk around the stage a little bit. Granted, she's talked about how um, she's not comfortable with herself and she's very awkward, so she tries to hide that. But as Blake's told her also, we love how awkward she is. That's what makes her so cool. So embrace it and own it and walk around the stage really awkward because it's not going to be awkward if you do it because that is who you are. You know what I mean? Um, so I thought she was really good. She unfortunately ended up in the bottom two and had to sing a Save Me song for um, America to vote on, but we're going to get to the results a little bit later. Um, so the last person on Team Gwen was Jeffrey Austin. My favorite. I'm I'm so obsessed with him because he is so good. I can listen to him all day long. He sang Let It Go by James Bay. And I've never heard the song. And did I not only download his version of the song, but I also downloaded James Bay's version of the song because it's such a great song and he did it so well. Um, he always has perfect song choices for him. I don't understand how that happens. He must really know his voice so well. And I know I say this every time that I talk about him, but he has not performed on stage in six years. And to go from not doing that for six years to now being on The Voice in front of America, that is freaking huge. So every single time that he's on the stage, I can't help but think, like, is he not extremely nervous because he hasn't done this in so long that he's not, like, used to the adrenaline pumping like that anymore? It's it's crazy. But he did a great job. He's through to the top 11. Um, I literally cannot say anything more incredible about this kid. He's awesome. I love this guy. Um, all right, so guys, tweet me at Kevin Zellman and at Hollywood Junket. Make sure you guys comment below. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let's talk about The Voice nonstop. Let's do it. I, I'm, don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so make sure you guys tweet me and everything. I'm just going to go out on that note. Bye, guys. Till next time.